Hello Buckingham students, it's me again, Mr. Payne. Today we're going to work on a very important skill, and that skill is the overhand throw. A couple of weeks ago we worked on the underhand throw, so today we are going to tackle the overhand throw. Let's take a look at our learning targets. Uh, number one, it says I can, over, uh, I can throw overhand. Number two, it says I can use correct form. And um, we're gonna take a look at the specific cues and steps of how to throw overhand. So the main difference between the overhand and underhand throw is your first step. Um, instead of facing your target, you are gonna have your side of your target. So again, I write with my right hand. I am right-handed, so I am going to um, have my left shoulder to my target. Let's pretend that wall is my target, okay? So you wanna have your side to your target. The next step, you wanna have like an L shape at your ear with your throwing arm, so this is my L shape. The next step, you wanna step with the opposite foot. Again, I am right-handed. I am going to step with my left foot. If you are left-handed, you are going to face your target with your right shoulder, and you are gonna step with your right foot, which feels so awkward for me. Um, and the last step, you're gonna follow through to your target. So following through uh, is pretty simple. When you step and throw, you don't wanna just release right here. You wanna step and throw and release and follow through, okay? That is the overhand throw. Let's think about sports that you would be throwing um, overhand. Let's think. Uh, football is one. You throw the football overhand. Um, baseball, when you pitch the ball or throw the ball, you're gonna throw it overhand. Um, Miss Jones, I see your hand raised. What do you have? Um, oh, wait, no, softball throws underhand, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, so, so it's okay. So softball, they would throw underhand. Um, but there are many other sports that you would throw um, overhand. So come on now, Miss Jones. So for this activity, again, you all are doing it at your house. I am doing it in the middle of the gym. So you're gonna have to set up a little bit differently at home. Um, for this activity, I grabbed a couple, you know, a couple uh, little plastic cups, and I made a stack. I put three at the bottom, two uh, in the middle and one on top, and I also had a laundry basket. Grab whatever works for you, you know? Um, the plastic cups, I don't care if they get broken because I can throw them away, okay? So plastic cups work great. I'm probably about, I don't know, we'll say 10 to 12 feet away from my target, okay? So my goal is to try to knock the cups down. Um, I have some nice, really soft, um, almost like baseball size um, balls that I'm gonna use to throw at the targets. If you don't have something that you can use um, at home. Uh, the sock ball is going to be your best um, alternative to this. So again, with a sock, just roll it up, get it in the size of uh, like this looking uh, baseball, and then you can use that as your uh, ball to throw. Okay? Um, and then if you don't have cups, I have a laundry basket down there. It is A-OK -okay to try to throw and make it into the laundry basket. Okay, so again, let's think about those steps, okay? Step number one, thanks Ms. Jones. Step number one, I'm gonna have my side of my target. That's first. So I'm facing the wall. That's not my target, but my side, my shoulder is facing my target, okay? I wanna have that L shape at my ear. I wanna step with the opposite foot, and I want to follow through. Now, for my younger students, I'm gonna give you a secret hint. If you want, with your, with your opposite hand, you can kind of aim sometimes, that'll help you, okay? So, again, side of target, L, I'm gonna step, I'm gonna get my aim ready. When I step, I'm gonna aim, and I'm gonna throw, okay? That's how it looks. All right, here we go, Ms. Jones, you ready? Yes. Let's see like a fun carnival game. All right, oh, got a step. L, step, throw. Ooh. All right, I got two down. I'm gonna go again, I'm gonna see if I can get those other three down. All right, step, throw, nope, missed. I'm gonna get a larger ball. This will increase my chance of knocking the cups down. Although this ball kind of curves, but we'll see. I step. Great. So now watch. I'm gonna go again. That was round one. I'm gonna come get him. Let's see what we got here. Stack them back up. 
and I'm going to go again. We'll call that round one. Let's pretend you don't have the cups, which is fine. You can overhand throw into the basket. So I got my basket right there. This is going to look a little bit different because rather than throwing it straight, I'm going to have to throw it kind of up and then go down, but we'll give it a try. I step and I throw. Great, made the first one. Now I'm going to go back to the cups. Oh, one ball at a time. Again, side of target, L back in here, step the opposite foot. Oh, I missed! Let's go again. Step. Oh! Don't forget good sportsmanship, boys and girls. Step. <laughs> All right, uh, boys and girls, for next week, I want you to get thinking. I want you to start thinking about these one, two, three, four, five big words up here, okay? These are our health-related fitness components. We have heart lung endurance, we have flexibility, muscular strength, muscular endurance, and body composition. I want you to start thinking about those. Some of you will remember those from last year, and it's okay if you don't. I want you to think about the fitness video that we did with Miss Davis last week. Where do you think some of those movements would fit into? Would it fit into heart lung endurance? Would it fit into flexibility? Would it fit into muscular strength? How about muscular endurance? Possibly body composition? I want you to start thinking about those fitness components and we will talk about them next week. Again, don't forget the overhand throw game. I do about three to four rounds. If you really like it, you can play five or six rounds. But don't forget if you're playing indoors, please be careful. You don't wanna break anything inside your house, okay? So make sure you're playing at an appropriate space where your parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles, whoever, let you do it, okay? This is Mr. Payne. I hope everybody has an awesome week. I hope to see you soon. Bye.